Good evening. Got a very special guest tonight. I know I always say that about most of my guests because they are special to me anyway. But this is the indomitable, talented, wonderful Nick Chapman. And um, we bumped into each other last week at an event because she's now out and about and she's feeling so much better and she's excited about beauty again. So the first thing I said was, hello, Andrew. The first thing I said was, um, would you come on and do a live with me? She said, yeah, of course. So then she left me a little voice message earlier on today. You're going to love this because it's also a live tutorial. I mean, that's the dream, right? Let me see if I can let her in. Where is she? Um, so, uh, she's not on a request to join, so I'm going to invite her to join. So she's going to apply her makeup live. There you go. I'm inviting you now. Why she loves her stuff as well. So she's going to come on. Hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Welcome to my face. I'm so face. well. Thank you. So can I just say, I went upstairs and just thought, I better, I better put a bit more makeup on. I because I'm going to be judged. judged you always look beautiful. <laughs> You really wouldn't. And I was just saying to everybody that you left me a little sneaky voice message yeah. that we b bumped into each other last week. I asked you, you said yes. Then you went, well, I'll just thought, do it live if you're as well. talk about products you and love, like, then I want to show them being you so that other people can love them and actually see how they work. Yes, I totally agree. So yes. let's dive straight in. I mean, oh, come on, for anybody that doesn't know this legend, one half of the original Pixie Woos, I wouldn't have a career in digital beauty without her and her sister, Sam. They genuinely are the kindest, nicest, most supportive women. How long have you actually been a makeup artist? 23 you years of makeup artist, but I don't get to do people's makeup anymore. So I don't know if you can say makeup artist anymore. I love, I love touching people's faces. I really enjoy doing makeup, but it's not something I get the pleasure of doing much of anymore. Um, but doing social media, 13 years long time yeah yeah one of the original long, long one of the OGs time, but um still love it and actually have really missed yeah. it since I stepped away I was like huh oh this is boring isn't it so yeah it's really nice to be kind of touching back in there but doing it as as I want to yeah no absolutely on your exactly. own terms and that's the best thing about it so everybody's Everybody, you, you have been much requested. So everybody has wanted to ask me because they know we're friends in the, in the industry. And when I bumped into you last week, I thought it was the perfect opportunity. And you are back. You're feeling better. And yeah, you're super excited good. about beauty and, again, aren't you? You know, it's been a real, real journey. And it's made me understand what's important and what I've enjoyed using. And actually, far less makeup than I would have before. It's kind of, it's been lovely to step back and watch it all and not be too much involved and then decide to step in when I want to, you know, pop in and out and then be like, oh, do I want to do that? Am I still relevant? Does it matter? And actually it doesn't matter. You're still completely relevant oh, and everybody's you. really missed you. So welcome back. We want to see more yes. of you. Let's start with skincare. And while we go through your skincare, and I think, I, and you know what? I put one of the products I know you're gonna mention in the Saturday Times the other day in a feature. And I said, I have to mention this. Because so many people I know who I really respect love this product, but I don't get on with it. Yeah. But and so you know what I'm going to talk about, right? But but I'm fascinated to know if the last year with your journey through your stem cell treatment has it changed your skin? And are you using different products? I still, still love the still same, products, the same products, but I use less, a lot less, because I had to um, start afresh again and get rid of a whole load of stuff. I had to be really careful about what I then chose to move forward with and what to use. So I know we're talking about Augustine's matter. It just doesn't suit my skin and I want to love it so much. And everybody I love and respect, you, Sam, Mary Greenwell. It's Sally, so ridiculously it. expensive, but I buy it. I buy it. And you buy it before Ian, anybody goes Ian any further. bought me it for Mother's Day yeah. from the kids. And I was like, yes. Get in there, kids, because he knows this is the one thing that costs me a bomb, but I absolutely love it. I do not know why. I cannot tell you anything more than I have not had one single breakout, blemish, anything since I've been using this. And I started using it in 2018 when it launched. Yeah, and, and have you tried the different textures? I'm, I'm a rich cream, but this one is the non-rich cream. Picked up by accident and bought it. 
<gasps> so I've got the lighter one. The rich. Oh, so which one do I'm you rich prefer? all the way. But this lighter one I quite like is perfect for now because Ian's just bought me the rich one. So this one's perfect for now because I'm going to put makeup straight over the top of it. So it's great because it's not too heavy. It sits lovely with makeup underneath it. And, you know, this guy has won so many awards for his moisturisers. The reason I bought this in the first place, let me put some on because I've got no moisturiser at the moment. So for everybody asking, it's the Augustinus Beda. It's the original cream. It comes in two finishes, a light and a rich. I've tried both. Really? I don't find them rich enough for really? my skin, which is so good. I know. And I had this conversation with Sally and Mary. I, I need... Well, I've got to inspire you to go back well to now. that and try it. They're both on my side. I know. I've just got There's it. Serum I've got well. the serum. I've got the cream. I'm, I'm such a sucker for it. Oh, you're such... But... You're such an addict. I love I it. I don't... I hate spending that much money, but I absolutely love the product. I absolutely love it. I can't, I wish I could find something else that I loved as much and I just can't. And I used it all through my chemo. I used it on my body. I, I'm friends with um, the guy who's one of the ambassadors for it. And I bought the rich cream and he said, please don't buy them. Let me just gift you some. So he gifted me the body um, moisturizer and a cleanser for taking my makeup off and I used it all the way through and I had not one problem with my skin didn't dry out I had not one single problem apart from when I was allergic to something that was I was taking tablets and that was a tablet but that was that was a tablet that was nothing I mean I, that's what I was going to say to you because I think the the journey that you've been through would have super, you always had dry skin but the journey would have super sensitized it and I have to say that is the advantage of Augustinus Beda, like unfragranced, super gentle, but super powerful. Loaded, for anybody that wants to know, loaded with peptides, which are signaling ingredients to make your skin super healthy and not sensitive and loaded yeah. with really It helps with my redness. Oils. It helps it's with a so very many clever things formula. that my skin struggles yeah. with. So redness, fine lines because it's so dry. Um, I bumped into, I was doing a, um, an event with Nicola Joss and I was speaking to her. This was just as that was launching and she said to me i've been using this new cream and it's unbelievable and because she's a skincare specialist i was like okay what is this cream and she told me and i went and bought it and i haven't looked back okay so somebody yes, just I asked do. how much was it you I've know written, how much it I've written all the prices down because so that's what i'm like i'm a bit crazy with things like that it is um 215 pounds it is very spenny i'm so sorry it's Space, Space NK. NK I do way, have to say I get a discount get... at Space NK, um, 20%. So it's a little bit nicer for me. Although Ian didn't use my discount the other day. <laughs> I was like, oh, we could have got 20% off. But, um, so I must say that. And how long does, how long does the bottle take you to use, use up? Morning roughly? and night. Um, over a month. Okay. Probably a month and a half, I would say. Okay. Maybe two months. It lasts pretty well, and it what well, okay. is that well? I don't know. I, I mean, I knew. Listen, I knew you were going to mention it, and so many people on my ten out of ten mentioned it. I actually wrote about it in the Saturday Times, and I said it was like ten top twenty products that are worth the money. And I just said I personally don't get on with this, but so many people I love I and get respect really love it. To I've got to put it, it in there. It's so expensive, but I don't mix anything with it. So if you get rid of all those, yeah. so it's everything. So it's, it's for me, serious, yeah. Although I have just started using one. the oil just because I'm a sucker, and I'm like, oh, could it get even better? Do you know what I mean? And I'm a sucker like that, and and I do get twenty percent off at Space NK, so I'm like, oh, that's not so bad, it is it? Is but um, yes. Yeah, so that's it's we'll it's, um, it's very one. expensive. <laughs> um, let me touch on foundation. I have a couple of foundations. I've just done a video on foundations, but yeah. Okay, so sorry, just quickly, Nick. So yes. you've used that as an eye cream and neck cream. I've used it as cream, everything. A face cream and a serum. As my base. That's my go-to. Okay, they, all right. They have brought out other I'm stuff. It. They've brought I'm out an eye cream, which I've got, but yeah. I've been using this on its own and it's worked brilliantly for me. So I'm going to try them just because I'm a sucker. But this has been a one-stop shop for me so far and my skin has... Has it changed? Well, it might have. It might have not got older as it could have, but um, I haven't had blemishes at all. 
not even premenstrual bonuses. I've had nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? And that's the only thing I can put it down to. It's been also, through time. It's been through yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah. a lot. Right. Okay. Um, so, um, I can't I can't make up them foundations. Now, there's lots that I like. I've actually brought three because I, I can't decide. But I'm going to go for the one that I pick up all the time when I'm literally going to watch my kids do sport or whatnot, which is the Avorian. This is the CC um, which cream. One is that? Is that the indoor? Um, I've... Yeah, and I'm a BB cream person. Well, indoor, this is, but you've got uh, is this the one that you use? So you can take less cover. Yeah, I've not. Um, I've not got the right colour in this one yet, so I might move to that. But I do love this one at the same time. I've also brought in my. How much is the Iborium? Do we know? Did I write that one down? I might have not. Um, it's reasonably, yeah. it's reasonably priced. And I also and brought in really the Pat McGrath Foundation because it looks like skin, but better. It's a really lovely, even coverage. Um, guys, which one do you want me to put on? Because I don't know which. And I also brought in the Monica Blunder. Because these are my three go-to foundations. Okay. I absolutely love this as well. Okay. So the, the Aborium CC is for weekends, looking at the children playing sports yep. super lightweight minimal coverage Pop, the pat mcgrath Pop is sort of mid-range nice a little bit later seeing people close up that you in daylight that you're worried how your skin will look because the natural daylight shows so much this is a beautiful foundation for that and the monica blunder one for quickness really beautiful on the skin lovely and quick okay. um don't need to powder over the top of it because it is a cream to powder um, if you've got dry skin like me, that is. Or people want to see the Pat one, I think. Okay. The, okay. The, the most expensive one. We've all got expensive taste go here, haven't we? So. No. Can I just say, if you want to see the Aborium one in action, if you watch any of the old videos of me and Joe, Joe uses Aborium CC actually as a primer and then puts foundation on top. And I use the Aborium BB. So you can see this is, is quite a watery foundation. Pat McGrath one. So it's quite watery, a, but yeah. it goes on like silk. It covers the skin so nicely that there is literally zero pull zero drag and i love that it's do you know what i am can, can, dare i ask what 11, color you are light medium. Stick... okay i'm gonna and i'm gonna use you as my color reference from now on because you're obviously yeah well i'm slightly color, pinky which i think you are as well aren't you so I can use either, but um, a little bit I have done this. a video where I kind of touch on how her colours work, which I can't remember now, but they are on there. So this one, and I'm just using a Charlotte Tilbury brush to pop it on that came with the foundation. But it's such a nice coverage. Is this light too bright? No, is it okay? No. You look, well, for me, you look fine. Everybody out there, what do you think? Yes, and you're absolutely right. Her skin is uh, amazing. Okay, and it's as amazing close up in real life. It's but I do beautiful. find if I put too much makeup on, my skin looks bad because it's not necessary. Do you know what I mean? I think that's a mistake a lot of people make is they, they try to overcompensate yeah. their skin when actually it's not necessary. Do you know what I mean? What are you trying to hide? If there's nothing to, and I don't really, like I said, yeah. since using my moisturizer, I don't really have any blemishes. So it's only my under eyes that I try to hide. And if I put too much there, then it just looks so much worse. Right, so those are my found. Well, I hope you're gonna I hope you're gonna talk about and I hope you're gonna talk about an under eye. Well I use two and I use these in every video so people will know what's coming. The Mac full coverage, which is thirty pounds, is exactly the same as the studio finish concealer. Exactly the same product. Can buy it. It's online, okay. thirty pounds. It's just it's in a bigger container because you're meant to use more of it. However, I have had this for years, for years. So it's like it's like so it's like for. A I am. What shade are you in that? In W twenty five. The clever thing, because the clever thing about Mac people, if you've ever known this, is they're all properly trained makeup artists and the best under eye concealer I've ever seen in action on the ah. mountain was done by a MAC makeup artist. See? It was mind blowing, mind blowing. It was on, um, it was on a, a, quite a dark skin Asian woman. She had really dark under eye circles and I took her on counter to MAC 
and an amazing makeup artist who I don't know her name. Orange, she yeah. Nichols. She put the orange colour. To, before they had the orange concealer, Mac, we used to mind. use a lipstick called Morange, which was their orange lipstick. And if anyone came in, yeah. we would put that under the eyes, especially Asian, under the eyes. And it just gets rid yeah. of the darkness. And then, and then, and then she patted full well, coverage on the yeah, top. and not too many Perfect. layers. I think that's the thing. So I keep my concealer to the very inner corner. This is NW25. Now, there's no point in me trying to completely black out my under eyes because it's going to look like too much and it's impossible. So um, I just pop that just in that bit and sometimes in there as well, just where my the hollow is because I've got the hollow below then I'm going to have the hollow above as well. And that is my go-to concealer it's 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 such a great done concealer done an amazing Sorry, I'm a job. bit shiny aren't i but i also take a little bit around my nose and this will last you forever forever it's the perfect shade and you were so right about where you put it on these modern video techniques where they do the whole thing under here i literally as you get older i literally just do it in that little oh. dent there because if the minute you come out here i do i do lines. but i just don't put it there because there's no point in putting it there because it will just crease there and sit there forever i brought another concealer that i put over the top of that let me see if i can find it which wasn't in my top 10 but it's the two that i use um hourglass this one's called Veil. What's that one called? Natural. I just like the way it sits over the top and kind of blends the two products together really nicely. And I just pop that right in that bit there as well. And it, it almost gives it like a soft focus just to finish over the top. That's why it's I really like It's really light it. reflective, that, that. That's the mineral feel it, yeah. And I'm looking a little bit more normal. Perfect. Jesus, I had to put a big headband on because my hair is just going out bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was like, I just don't know what to do with this barnet nowadays. When I felt it last week, it's your hair is so thick. You're like a pure. Oh my god! You should have seen me next to my dog. I had it's to so thick. It's I so was, shiny. I had a photo. Ian took a photo of me and my um she's a schnoodle so she's half poodle half schnauzer and she's got really long hair although she's just been cut and my hair is so much curlier especially at the back let me show you it's just so yeah. curly i don't know what to do with it i love it but how am i going to grow it out <laughs> yeah because you're going to have to go through that yeah you're going to have well, to I'm just, put it I'm back just gonna you. keep it short i wanted to keep it short i'm just going to keep it short because i like it it's just now trying to get this bit to the length where it's um manageable have to do something to tame the sides down until i get it cut and i booked in to have it done in a month so uh who's cat, gonna cut it for you cat cuts me at um yeah oh yeah at josh because she, she's Joshwood. done every journey with me and i really feel like i'd love her to do the next bit as well let's give a shout out to her i'll put her in the cut it's also credits also um please yeah she's video, just so you know fabulous and so it, kind right? and you know I just, I just really like her. She, she was really good when I said, look, I need to cut all my hair off to get ready. And I couldn't have thought of someone who would be kinder on that journey. You know what I mean? It's quite a vulnerable journey. And I knew I was in the right headspace, but I just wanted someone who would be uplifting, but at the same time, understanding and kind. And she just is that person. So I was like, please, can you do it for me? And she's like, I would be honored because she's just so lovely. Yeah, she's lovely. She's genuinely lovely. Um, I met her through Ruth at, at Ruth's launch and she did some work with her. She did that sort of messy updo that Ruth kept carries so well. She's really yes. lovely. Shout out to Cats Cuts Me. Well, she, I know no, that's her surname. What's her surname? I just know her as Cat Cuts Me. Yeah, because she's always just call her Cat. I don't know. Right. Oh, another thing I wanted to shout out for the skin is this charcoal smoothie by sunday riley it's on offer at the moment space and k because i just looked at how much it was it's 32 pounds it's on offer for 24 pounds i just put one in my basket and i didn't buy it before i did this live 
I was like, quickly buy it before you go live, just in case there's only three left. This was just amazing. Have you tried it? No, tell me what it, I would, I, the, the thought of charcoal worries me because for me it's quite dehydrating and I need loads of So you rub it on. How do you it's use like, it? It's like, um, it's got, yeah. I presume it's black. But it's it's for gray. people with dry skin, keratosis pilaris, bumpy texture, which, and it's got salic acid in, natural exfoliating powers and detoxing lovely charcoal. It is, so, yeah. So you use it in the shower yeah. that you literally and scrub it your comes down. off and it, okay. my skin feels like oily already and so smooth. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is the best thing I've ever, ever had on my skin. It's so nice for someone who has dry skin. And literally I come out of the shower, I moisturize and still my legs are dry. They're like the... Oh, you've sold... You've they're the literally sold that driest to legs store. ever. Yeah. I it's, call them it's my so weird that my, how my skin is just so dry, whereas this keeps my moisture in for a little bit longer. It's so lovely um, that I, I had to shout it out because I was like, oh my God, that's so, such a nice product. So yeah, I'm going to order another one. But everybody, please don't go on and buy it on Space NK. At yeah, and we won't get it. Otherwise it's, it'll be sold yeah, it's on out. It's on sale for get. £24 from 32 <laughs> at the moment. And I was like, ooh, I put it in my bag. Yeah, Perfect I put it in my bag, but I didn't remember yeah. to check out because I had other stuff in my bag that I was trying to delete off and then it was time and I was like, oh no, didn't buy it in time. Okay, let me, obviously, obviously, I'm sorry, I'm so predictable, but you know, that, you know, I'm going to use it and you're going to get what you're going to, you know what I mean? If I'm going to talk about something, I will use it and use it and use it because if someone goes out and buys it, I want them to know that I love that product and I use it non-stop because I don't want to just talk about product once and then it never be seen in my feed again. Because I'd find that really sad that I would be. Have you tried, have you tried the, use new the original shade? shade. Do you use the original um, shade? The darker one's a little bit too dark for me, although okay. I am desperately trying to buy the rare Selena Gomez one. She's got like a stick one, which looks like the Fenty wand. Um, but the, yeah. yeah, but the colour I keep exactly trying to buy is always out of stock. So I tried to get that as well. So that is the Chanel Universal Bronzer. It comes in two yes. shades, the original and then the darker one, a deeper one. To be honest, Chanel, I keep saying this every time it's mentioned on a video, please do a minimum of six shades. You could easily go much darker and much lighter. It's the most incredible, unique cream balm to powder yes. soft focus gorgeousness i put it right down my yeah, neck and on my chest to hide my sun it's damage. such a I've beautiful it color i wish they it. would do it in more shades for everyone because everyone should get to experience this product before chanel lose everyone by not making enough colors do you know what i mean because there comes a time when it's just not acceptable anymore yeah i feel the same about yeah. Aurium as well i truly truly love the bb and cc Every time I create a video, I tell them to create more colours, and they are, but they need to do more and more quickly. Sadly, that's what I was going to say. It's the French and the French and yeah. the Southeast Asian companies that are the slowest. But long time managed you don't, to do it, so I think Chanel needs to do it. Just give it a and try and put it online or something. Do you know what I mean? I find that really, really sad. And also, I think it's not like there's enough of us who haven't actually told them in their videos. They do know, and. And most of the time you try a product and you think, well, that's no loss. But Arborean bases and Chanel bronzers are truly, to me, gold standards. I, I, they would be in my top 10. So I just yeah, want Yeah, I know that Anastasia well. brought out some bronzers, but they're just not the right sort of tone. They're a similar texture. I've got them here, actually. But they're just not, they're too orange for any skin. Do you know what I mean? Which I think, and then this one's just not really the right sort of shade either. Oh, sorry, it's got a little cover over. So they've got the shade right for our skin color, but what about the rest of the world? Do you know what I mean? That's the, um, the, their ones, which is, which is lovely, but a shame. Um, what else do I have? How many have I given you so far? 
Oh, right, okay. Oh, we're not counting. Okay. We're just um, enjoying ourselves. Thing that I absolutely love, again, very expensive, but used them lots of times, um, are the Tom Ford. Look, you can see how old this is because I've loved it. The Tom Ford Duo. This one is in, um, what's, the colour's worn off because I've had it for so long, uh, Naked Bronze. These are so expensive as well, but I use them non-stop. I prefer them to any other cream, to cream eyeshadow. So this is, you can buy them individually and individually they are £34, still very expensive, but they have this one online. I feel like they last a really long they time. They last That's a really long time, pot. but they are the sort of eyeshadow that you can really screw up and it doesn't matter which is why I love them, because I'm always in a rush. So this is the kind of bronzy tone, and I'll just take a brush, and it, it, it's literally mess-up proof. I'd like to swear, but I won't. But you know what I mean? It's literally like, you can't go wrong with it. It blends so easily. It's such a soft cream. Looks like you've got something on, but so easy to work with, which is why I love them. I find, I do like the um, By Terry sticks, but I find they're a bit more, because they're in a stick form, they, were, they put a, lay a lot more product down and I find that this is so nice because you can just put a wish of colour on blend it and suddenly you've got a really nice eyeshadow and it doesn't you can't really go wrong with it it's beautiful and can I just say also I find the same with the yes. Laura Mercier caveat eye sticks I've tried them but they're once I even, on them I find it they're too even denser to my... so they, they need a lot yeah. of warming up those products they are too too dense the tom Ford, the by terry ones are much softer but they can easily be broken and damaged whereas i do just prefer a pot form like this because there's no damage you can use your finger if you're in a rush which is what i do but i ha happen to be sitting down so i can use a brush you can take it right under the eye and you literally can't really go wrong with it adds a bit of something and it even comes with a, these ones I like because they come with a little different colour that you can just push over the lid should you wish to, to add a little bit of a... These are the duos. And they're the duos. And I really like totally them. Different. I think they're so nice. And you can see I've just massively whacked that on. I would normally take a dry brush just to buff out any edges so that it looks like it's just seamless and blended. Don't need to be... Look, you can't really Gorgeous. see too much. It's so really soft and gentle. Um, what else have I got? Yeah. I love a, um, I love a coal pencil because I like smudgy. Well, like actually, Mac coal pencil. I love a coal pencil because it's smudgy, but from Mac, I tend to use the eye pencil because it's in between. Me too. And I use coffee yeah, because it it's really a beautiful is. brown that's rich and flattering. Um, Prunella's probably beautiful on you, isn't it? Do you use Prunella? I use Teddy. I use, uh, yeah, coffee. What was the one that your daughter Power did the cat's face with? Was it Power Surge? Went... Costa, Costa Riche. Costa Riche. Costa oh, Riche. Costa Riche is favorites. such a great one. Let them. me swap on you if I can find it because it's such a... I bet I don't have one here to hand, but it's such a great colour for, oh yes, I have one straight to hand, for, it's a really, really rich brown. So I like it for, if you just want to do that, that, oh, you're it's so good for brilliant. just, if you just want a bit of contour, it's got that lovely richness to it, whereas the coffee is a little bit too deep and dense just to give you a little bit of something. You know, being a makeup artist, there has been times where I've been on set and my kit hasn't. And you're like, oh, mm -hmm. where's my kit? Where's, that's meant to have been shipped here. Where is everything? And you literally have to use what your little makeup bag on everyone and no brushes or anything. It's happened to me a couple of times and just being able to adapt and use what you have has always been something that I thank the Lord that I can do. So things like this are great for just being able to, oh, right, I haven't got the right kit. I don't know what to do. Great for just adding a little something 
and then you can use your finger to blend it. Don't even need a brush because it's so soft. They are really they're, they're just, I love those. Yeah, they're so I like this one. I like coffee. Me. I like Power Surge. I like um, I like Prunella. They're all just such a lovely pencil that is smudgy enough. You know, I'm always after that kind of got my makeup on, but I've had it on for days. Look, when you've done your makeup, so it's not too yeah. perfect. Like when I see, such a such a cool London exactly kind of that. Kate Moss vibe look. But I also like to not waste time um, doing my makeup because there's so much fun to be had when it's on. I'm like, I need to go out. Genuinely, how long does it take you to do your makeup in the morning if you weren't chatting to me? Like 10 minutes, oh, 15 five minutes? Five minutes, I don't put much on. I have, you know, I've got, I've had the stuff done beforehand. My eyebrows are microbladed and I'll put a bit of this on, a bit of that on, and then I'm out. Sometimes I'll put mascara on, depends. Like yeah. today I went out with Harry and Ian and I only had those two things on because I knew I was going to do a live with you and I wanted no makeup on. So I didn't want to rub mascara off later. So I'm quite happy to not go out with, no one's looking at me, so I don't care. I more do the makeup for these sorts of things because <laughs> I enjoy that. No one, do you know what I mean? Listen, I always feel really sorry for people if they see me over the weekend and they must look at me and go, God, she looks rough off camera. I just haven't got any makeup on. Exactly God, that. And I actually time. think from starting videos with no makeup on it's given me a lot more confidence to just wear no makeup because i'm like really i've start i've more people see me online not wearing makeup than see me with it do you know what i mean so and i know what i can look like at the end of it if you know what i mean so yeah. no i completely agree i'm i'm the same i remember the first time i ever had to do a live tutorial or a makeup thing with no makeup on and in the end I just thought I'll oh, get over yourself. But you look beautiful Don't without makeup. <laughs> I mean I look all, I look all right without makeup. I look a little bit tired. That's what I don't like. It's not that I look I think I look different. I feel like I look a bit ill defined and tired and that's why I use makeup. To Mine make is only my under eyes that bother me. Nothing it. else. I don't care about anything else. It's just my under eyes and then I'm like well oh. You could have earlier nights. Or, I, I actually think that's hereditary. I don't think there's much I can do about it. I do think, I do think it's hereditary and I don't think it's anything yeah, you eat there's, or there's do nothing I can do about it, so just get over it. it. Deal with it, you know. Okay, let's pop some mascara on. I have two mascaras that I love, one that's obviously very expensive and one that's obviously quite expensive. Um, Shantakai, this one I absolutely <laughs> love. This is the Fossils. Longest lash mascara. Yes. This is the expensive one. They're both expensive, but this one is. Oh, I spend a lot of money on mascara. Sixty-three pounds for three months' use. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to buy it anymore. A pound. Of, that's a pound a year. That's pound yeah, but that's a lot, isn't it? But I like it. But but. When I was researching this, because I'm obviously one of those suckers that buy stuff, when I was researching this and I was writing down the prices, I was like, this is my other favourite mascara, the Laura Mercier um, Caviar Volume. This one, £22, this one, 63 I couldn't choose between the two, so why do I keep buying this one? That's what I thought to myself. I was like, have a word with yourself. Why are you, why are you spending so much? But let me put them both on different eyes and you can tell me whether you think this is worth okay. 63 pounds a pound of use i like the smallness of the brush okay um, that's why i like it and okay. i like that when i have lots of lashes it um grabs every single individual lash and makes them i will always put a bit there and makes them look separate and not like one clump lash which is what i like which is probably the reason I Me buy too. this one is that I like that it makes my lashes look fake real. It's a really nice I mean, mascara. Good, Let me put, because you can all decide for me, because I don't know. Let me put the 
um, Laura Mercia caviar volume on the other side. Much bigger wand, but has a nice twist. So it grabs every single lash and lengthens it, but it looks a lot more clumpy on my lashes. So it depends what sort of, this would be my going out and the other one's my every day. So. Do you ever try like super cheap I mascaras? Don't. I love a cheap mascara. Cause they, yeah, they don't I should, overload the I brush. Should, I just don't. Right. I like a real brush. I hate plastic ones, hate them. See, I can't bear them. I cannot bear them. I like a real brush for some reason. I think it's because, and it's the same reason that professional makeup artists like very small applicators, because you are a true artist. I need this sort of idiot doofus proof version. So I love oh, see, a baby my... plastic wand. I love a benefit. That's a my most hate factor. thing. But that doesn't mean it, it's each personal preference, isn't it? The Clinique Lash Power is good. And I also think you, I think you just have skills that the rest of us don't have. And you might not even think you're that skilled at putting on mascara because compared to the rest of us. But I, I do think there are certain products that really suit professional makeup artists and certain products that really suit the rest of us who are just- I don't going. know because there's so many <laughs> non-makeup artists that do online makeup. And I don't know. Yeah, People are saying fuller, Laura isn't it? Mercier looks better. It's, it's much fuller, yeah. but for the, I like this one for the subtleness of it. So I still use extended play on my bottom lashes, but it's, it's, it, this one does look fuller and nicer. Oh, so can I just say as well, it's lovely. It's okay you asking my followers for your advice here. I suggest that all of the followers then go over, stalk her the minute you see her online at Space NK, and metaphorically oh, no. tell her not to buy expensive stuff. I know, stuff. I am such a sucker. <laughs> Follow her around Space NK in real life. And if you see her pick up anything expensive... I can't help it. And because we've got a Space NK in Norwich now, I'm, <laughs> I'm in there all the time spending. I know you have. Because Ian, Ian uses one of the salt sprays. So he's like, can you pick me up a salt spray? I'm like, oh, it's dangerous. It's dangerous because it involves me going in there. No, he Does uses... you use the Bumble and Bumble salt spray? I don't know. It's like a aerosol spray one. T K. Oh, really? I want to say something like that. Oh, yes. Yes, but I can't um, remember what the letters three are. Three letters, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what they are either. Anybody from Space NK online, tell us what you think it is. Yeah, there's a three letter and it's a range of... I feel like there's a T and a K in there, there, but I don't know. No, I don't, I don't not know what Max, someone does that. Like uh, sometimes, but not very regularly, because I like a shiny skin for my dry old skin. But yeah, um... I-G-K. I so the I looks Thank like a T-C. T-J-I. I-J-K. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's I-G-K. And I don't know what it stands for. Does anybody know out there? Um, do I have anything? How many have I done? Oh. Oh, I'm well, not counting. I'm just having too much, too much of your time money. either. I'm just putting some ex extended I play on box. Oh, hour, I know my other. Oh. Back to Mac again. Eyebrows uh, and lips. First highlighter, we all know which highlighter I'm going to use. If I can find it. <gasps> Where's she gone? Where's she gone? While you look for your highlighter, I just want to give a quick shout out to Nez Hassan, who is the oh, why, truly most amazing eyebrow artist oh, yeah. ever. No, she's just amazing. She does your eyebrows, she does Sam's, she does Sally's. Super subtle, beautiful. I had a really bad experience with um, eyebrow uh, microblading, and I'm just waiting to get properly out of lockdown and go and see Nick. She can take the, any mistakes away amazing. as well. She's very good at recorrecting the brow, uh, the brow mistakes that other people have done as well. But she's very good. She's really good. I'm going to yeah. put a tag she's, here. She's below so great at brows, and it does mean works. that you don't ever have to do anything to your brows. Look, everyone's like Mac Hush Cream Color Base. Yes, it is my um. I used, I've used this for, since I've, forever, this MAC Hush. What's it called, color base. It comes in other colours as well. Uh, it comes in pearl, comes, no, shell, luna, and improper copper. Improper copper will be nice for darker skin. Um, this one is 
just the nicest cream highlighter that doesn't look like, look, my skin looks really shiny at the moment because I've got a hell of a lot of light on me, but it adds the nicest natural shine that doesn't look like you've got something on. I hate when they've got glitter, when they've got shimmer. Mm. I just think my, naturally my face doesn't look like it would have shimmer on it. So why would I put shimmer on? So this, mm -hmm. and every time Sam and I used to be on stage, um, people, because the lights would be on us, people would be like, Nick, what's your highlighter? Which I absolutely love because it was the only time people weren't asking her something about how amazing she is. They'd be like, what's your highlighter? I'm like, oh, thank God for hush cream colour base because it's made people ask me something. So um, I love this highlighter. Do excuse the shine that's there because that's Gorgeous. just from the lights that I've got on. I should probably turn them down. But it is the most beautiful highlighter. Um, no, I don't always wear blush. blush. But if I, I don't always oh, wear that's blush. Interesting. Because I naturally have a bit of high colour in my cheeks, and after a little while, that will come yeah. through anyway. So I just leave it, and I might just do that, just to bring my own natural colour mm. up because it just does. So um, I don't necessarily need that, but my go-to at the moment is a Lisa Eldridge one because I just like. I like the real sheen. Oh, what colour is it? It is Lisa Eldridge, isn't it? Yeah. It's Go Lightly. But I like, I'll put it on. Okay. But I don't. And yeah, is it, it's like, it's it a looks cream like a lip gloss, gloss, is it? Yeah. You'd think it was a lip gloss because it's so tacky. But then, you know, I like a shine. Have you tried the I Jones like Road Miracle Balm? Everyone likes it. Neither do I. I love you, Nick Chapman. I don't get it. It's like it's it's like putting one of those cleansing balms on your face and just leaving it. I, I can't I'm cope. It. <laughs> Why don't you like it? I can't cope. I I put it on thinking it was going to have a sort of slightly Chanel bronzing. So it goes on as a cream, turns to a balm, powder is soft focus, and it goes on, and then you go back an hour later, and when you touch your skin, it, it's packing. still really cleansing balm and packing. I can't, and if you get I your hair on it, it's like putting eight hour cream all over my face, but but not as gooey. I just I put it on, and I was like, I feel like my skin can't breathe. I felt like you know that James Bond where they paint her all gold, and then she can't, her skin can't breathe, and you're like, oh, I can't deal with it. I, yeah. So it's not for me, but I keep seeing people talk about it loads and how much they love it. So we it obviously it. works for some. Yeah. So J. A. Bennett says that is a Laura. A little oh, elderly well, there you go. Not a blush. <laughs> I love my it doesn't say what it is, so it could be. <laughs> but I've been using it as a blush for a while. Okay. Right. Someone's putting, is it, is it like Vaseline? It might be Listen, a lip gloss. Gorgeous colour. I could have sworn it came in a package. It doesn't say what it is on the back. But I, I'll no, I imagine it is a lip gloss, but I saw it on, it doesn't say. But I'm sure on the package it said blush, but this is me. So it probably isn't. Oh. I will double check everything. Well, there you go. I've given her another use for it because I like it on the cheeks. Quite, it's quite cute. Um... I have two more things that I wanted to show. The two lip things and these I buy. This is Elizabeth Arden. Which um, is? Eight hour lip, what's it called? Lip protector. protector. I buy yeah. these in a bulk of four because all my family use it. Harry, Edie, Ian, everyone has one in their pocket. And if I buy one just for me, they steal it. No. Do you do you like the tinted versions? They do limited edition ones. I I've, love. They did a peachy one, one last year. The, the slightly amazing. browner one, but I I don't seem to use it very much. I tried to get the pinky one, but they'd sold out. So I oh. might like that one. Oh, clear. So you just use the clear one, clear protective. Hey, the fact that Harry they and all, uh, they all steal it. Ian, Ian, and I've Ian. tried to replace it with a cheaper one because this is expensive, but then they steal mine. It's very irritating. I mean, it is an absolute classic and it's brilliantly formulated. And I, there's something about the smell of those and products. I, and I feel like it's doing something. It's protecting my lips. It's got an SPF of 15. 
Oh, it um, definitely yeah, is. Yeah, the other thing that I use on my lips a lot is um, an instant light, Clarins Instant Light. I used Love to use these brands. a lot on brides because you know how some lip glosses get that that rankness there. You, yeah, the goo that's there. Yeah. These don't ever do that, and I think for a bride they wear away, but still leave the lips looking lovely and plump. They're not intrusive when you kiss your then husband. You know they're very very lightweight, and I think these are such a brilliant lip um, side of them. Do you, and the, so that, that entire range, they used to have yeah. a lip perfector in that range that was soft focus line filler if you had less than perfect lips. It was oh. the most incredible product and they discontinued it. Clarence, are you listening? Bring it back. In fact, bring this entire range back and focus on it yeah. again. It's their cult classic. I just don't classic, understand why they would do that. By Terry do a nice one that's got a slight colour to it. I, I, um, I quite like the um, yes. MAC. Prep and Prime lip, if you want to go, that's quite a clever one as well. But I actually did originally that prefer the Clarence one, but they discontinued it. This is for, yeah, so if you want to go slightly over the lips or if you've got any fine lines or feathering or imperfection, it's just a sort of slightly soft focus lip locker that doesn't really it's set. It's half skincare, half makeup. Hybrid. Oh, it's the Clarence so annoying. One used to be now amazing. I want it and you can't get it. Yeah. No, you can't. I, it was Ruby Hannah that told me about it. It was one of her top ten. She absolutely loved it, and then they discontinued That's, it's it. It's like the True Mirror Brow Pencil that they've discontinued, which I love in soft brown. And there's so many products that were amazing. Um, Laura Mercier used to do the best gel pot liners, and they discontinued. And they did this beautiful mm -hmm. rich brown one. And I'm like, why? Why have you taken that away from us? I don't know. Yeah. Why have they taken oh, Schumer yeah. away Becca. from us full stop? L'Oreal, why didn't you take it out for UK? And Becca, I still have a bit of Becca. Heartbreaking. Um, the Shimmering Skin Perfector, I broke the lid off, but I'm just harboring it like, oh. But don't forget that they are being those, that I think the 10 best selling Becca products are being absorbed oh. into Smashbox. So that under eye concealer and the face, they're all oh. going into Smashbox. There you go. Yeah, because it's the same group. So, so yes, they've ordered groups. So been discontinued. Absorbed. What about, do they still make Becca at all? Yeah, well, so basically they will have taken the formulations, moved them to a different factory, or maybe they even made the same factory, and then they just repackaged them because it's all owned by the Estee Lauder group. Mm. So, yeah, so that's how come. Because they knew, I mean, like Sally was talking about the under eye concealer, and she's like, and she's super powerful like you and, and um, Sam are. So basically when she says, come on, everybody, like we need to tell them not to discontinue it, they do have enough power to make Well, Sally has, I don't think. Bring back a product, so. I, I don't know, I don't have much say. <laughs> I just go, oh. That's gone. Let me find something else. Talking of which, Mac, can we please bring back the Nick I get limited edition constantly edition. about it. I don't even care if they bring it back in another formula, like another name. Just bring back the no. lipstick. It's such a nice colour. My... I nearly put it's it in. So I nearly good. put it in, but it's then I so thought, good. what's the point? People can't get it. I'm so proud of that colour. Yeah. It literally was so lovely you for be. everyone that tried it. And even my friends who are normally like, just support, do you know what I mean? But don't get involved are like, when can I get your lipstick again? I'm like, you can't anymore, girls. I love that. And I really think that we should, and I'm gonna start another campaign now. I wanna start a campaign with Mac UK. Is I've spoken to Nick about this before, is it should be brought back and then the money yeah. should go to well, an MS charity. Do that? But yeah, it would be, it would be, I feel like it would be lovely and I if they on. would, it would be really, really oh. lovely. We've got nothing, I think we've got nothing to lose by asking. It is truly I think I've got one here, because someone said, what is the colour like? It's a little, a little gold bullet. Looks quite rude, but it's not, I promise you. I'll put it on so you can see, because it is just, I still, I have, I have quite a few of them. I love it. It's so it just, beautiful. I, I, I love it. I invented it, created it, because I wanted it to be a one wash that you could just put on and you wouldn't need a liner with it or anything. But I also, 
Yeah, you exactly. don't, almost don't need a mirror. But I wanted it's it to so have a slight brilliant. hue of blue to it so that it would be perfect for any skin colour. Now, black women might have to wear a lip liner with it or a slight, but it's so lovely. And actually, whilst we were creating it, it was the most beautiful black lady there as well. And I said, before I choose this colour, can you put it on for me? Because I want to make sure it works on you. And she loved it. And it looked so fabulous on her that I was like, do you know what? I'm really, really pleased. So, I, yeah, I absolutely love the colour. And it's so easy to use. And I like to go over my lips with it because it's such a light colour. You can't, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, your lips it. on their best day. I love it. I really love it. Yeah. Bring it back, okay, Matt, please. Come on, my get hand. your act together. Bring it back. Um, what about any other products? I, oh, I, or are we... this is something that I have on order that I buy constantly. Every every two, every three months, this comes. Okay, Gold so tan maximizer, one month tan prolonger. I love the smell of it because it reminds me of holiday. And it reminds me of my husband, because he uses it every time he gets out of the shower. He puts this on every time, no matter what. So I just love. They use it as a body lotion. They use it as a body lotion all year long. And he's got really oily skin, so he doesn't like anything that feels tacky. Hello, Gavin. He doesn't like anything that feels tacky at all. Um, and I love it. I, um, when I have, mm, I don't want to say with MS because I feel like I don't have it anymore and I don't want to say that but I can't sleep in moisturizer uh, I can on my face but not in my body because I will quite often sweat at night um, especially time of the month and anyone that's menopause or anything like that will understand this is one of the only products that I can sleep in and it doesn't feel uncomfortable and tacky and like the sheets are sticking to me or anything I absolutely love this after a shower that I have at night. I can use any moisturiser for a shower in the morning, but for a shower at night, I need something so lightweight that it, and it's very absorbent. And I find this is brilliant for that. They're sun products. I mean, when I was a beauty editor and we used to all go on our trips, most commonly nine times out of 10, a beauty director would get Lancaster sun products out of their bag to use i mean you know even if you were on a competitor's trip when it came down to it they make the most beautiful lightweight emulsions that just smell lovely they sink in they're not greasy they're not sticky i think they're launching a new spf later this year as well i just think that they they really did set the gold standard for SPF and they long, just long they smell ago. nice they're lovely so i yeah i think that's a brilliant product for um after a holiday or even just all year long and just quickly, what are you using on your hair? Um, a concoction of everything. It's literally like crispy. You can probably hear it cracking. Um, I just use like a clear gel thing that I just put through. I've been trying to do everything. I bought, um, I bumped into Caroline Barnes the other day and she told me to buy a rag to really tight down my hair um, to try and stop the curl. Because she said that's what I used to use, they used to use with Kylie when she had her chemo and her curl would come out, she'd use like a do-rag to really tighten it down. Um, but it gives me a bit of a headache. So I've got one, but um, at the moment I'm just, but if I take this off, it just, the hair just stays where it is because it's got so much product on. But I'm like, oh. But that's really good. I quite like that Rosie the Riveter look. You know, the kind of women can do it. it well, I have to for the sides because it just goes out. Ian was like, oh, it looks really cute on you today, that headband. I was like, thanks. Because it is going through that stage where I don't know what to do with it. But it's very interesting because Kylie definitely came out with hair. I mean, her hair's finer. It's like mine. She definitely came back with a serious curl. But her hair's gone back to the way it was. I think it before, will go. So it might actually I only think be it will a go. short I think break. it's while the chemo's yeah. probably still there a bit or while my body's still repairing. I think I feel like, because the sides, if I take this off, it will have a dent, but the sides um, seem to be staying a bit flatter now. So the sides here, it's going, oh, it's not actually too bad. The sides yeah. here are a little bit staying flat if I flatten them down, whereas before because I tried to blow dry it for the first time because so I was like oh what will it be like if it if I blow dry it so when I first blow dry it, I look like a politician a male politician <laughs> it's literally like it's it's had nothing done to it but um once I put product in it becomes a little bit more of a style 
but um it, it you know it's all part of the journey and i quite enjoyed it but i think i will bleach the shit out of it again I mean, it's so strong and healthy that I do think yeah. you could take a bleach really easily. Because when I felt it the other day, I mean, like I said, I mean, I, I didn't mean to be rude, but you do have the texture and the oh, form of a Oh gosh, I would a, never take that rude. <laughs> I literally don't even have, you cannot see my scalp. Like, there's so much hair there, no. there's no scalp whatsoever. I'm like, I tried to put a side part in and I was like, oh, there's too much hair to do that. <laughs> But it, I, I'm kind of loving every step of it. Like, it's been a journey. And actually, oh, Lisa Scansfield vibe, exactly. And actually, it's all part of getting better, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Losing your hair. I actually enjoyed, I didn't enjoy that part, but it was, I owned it. It was like, okay, this is a situation I've got to be, that's going to make me better. Really important for my kids to see me with no hair, feeling confident because these things happen and I was like explaining to them the losing the hair isn't me getting ill the losing of my hair is me getting better don't don't grieve my hair ever I, I used to love when you used to do little car journeys with them where they're bickering in the back and then you said to them so who likes my hair like this and who likes my hair like that and Edie's like I like it long mummy and Harry's like I like it like mine mummy do you he remember wants it back like that so bit? much it's just all he says to me all the time he's like that was so cool yeah. mum it was so cool will you will you get it back blonde again and do and I'm like I'm trying to get that bit back buddy because he just loves that it's like his and you know it's just it's it, we put so much emphasis on it and actually, like you've had a big a hair journey. Joe's had a hair journey. It's, it is what it is and we just have to own it. And if we like, you're, you've done so well to find out what you need to be taking to make your hair stronger. And I think it's more important that we need to invest in ourselves and in our well-being, so that this crown can be the glory that we want it to be or however. Yeah, my one bit of advice to anybody is that they've got any hair problems at all is please, please, please see the advice of a medical doctor. Go and have a full blood test because often your hair is the first thing. Just like your skin, they're a reflection of what's going on inside you. And like for you, you knew it was a symptom of your body doing what it had to do to get better. And for me as well, I had no idea that I had these underlying health issues until and how's that the stupid fringe fell out. And then but, I mean, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because, you know, it's only... Yeah, it's early days. And your hair, don't forget, your hair only grows half a, an inch a month. So it's a long, long journey to recover. Yeah, and, and so, it takes yeah. quite a while for those vitamins. Uh, right. If you are vitamin B deficient, do you have to have the injections now? I was yeah. 12, actually, nine. Yeah. yeah, to get into your body. Yeah, completely. Um, final question, because everybody is asking, what about a signature fragrance? Are oh, you a fragrance fan? Oh, 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 sorry, um, my brain. Fragrance. My brain. Um, Fragrance, Frederick Marle, Portrait of a Lady. Portrait of a Lady. Frederick Marle. But it's, it's a bit Portrait heavy for summer. So in the summer, I tend to go for, I quite like the Burberry fragrance, but I also, which is quite deep as well. I also used to love DKMY Woman, but they don't do it anymore. It's such a light, beautiful fragrance. And I actually wore it on my wedding day. You can't get it anymore. But I still have one. My... I'm amazed by the amount of friends I have that always wear a portrait of a lady and I love it. To me, it's the smell of friendship. I yeah. Love it. Well, Sally wears it and Gavin wears it. And I, I remember I was not buying it, not buying it because I knew a few people wore it. And then I smelled it on Gavin and I was like, I'm giving in. I have to go and buy it. It's just so decadent and lovely. And I just, I just love that my friends smell like that as well. It reminds me of them. I've got a really good bit of advice. Thank you to the lady that wrote this, or the gentleman that wrote this. I'm sorry, it's very hard to tell with your names. Go and find Diptyque Au Capital, and it's a lighter, more wearable okay. version of the Portrait of a Lady. Diptyque Au Capital. Diptyque Au Capital. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, really, yeah. really, really beautiful, really elegant. It's definitely the same family, <laughs> but not quite as, yeah. as heady it's, it's... through rockery. Yeah, no, yeah not quite. We tried Au Capital. Off, but, yeah. So try, yeah. Oh, I'm totally going to try that. Oh, Thank yeah. you for making me spend more money. That's an excuse. <laughs> Don't make me spend more money. Jeez. Look how shiny my face is. But that's because I've got 
bright lights on. You look absolutely beautiful, Nick Chapman. You are an inspiration oh, to us all. You. We all adore you, and you are incredible. And give me I love will. He loves you. He's got a soft spot for you. He always says, "Say hello to Nadine for me." We got a soft spot for each other. What did he say about? He me said that you are the most beautiful, it. mature woman he's ever seen. Yeah, he, there's a lovely woman. I was like, I don't know, darling. He was like, she's so beautiful. And then I, I did tell him the other day, after I'd asked you, I told him your age, and he was like, no, I don't believe you. I was like, no, she is, darling. He just can't. He's like, she looks so good. So, so Ian, not just a mature no. woman, but a very mature no, woman. No, not at all. He's like, he just thinks you're just lovely. That's what he says to me all the time. I just love her. Yeah, we... We love each other. We So Nick used to be at the same agents as me. So we all used to get together for the summer party and the Christmas party. And seeing Ian was always the highlight. And of he my, smells so my good, Christmas my husband. Party. So I just... And he always yeah. smells really good. He really does. That's Thank true. you. Right. Okay, Nick Chapman, Thank go you. and look after your rest. Thank you for having me. It's been them. so lovely. Edie and I will, Harry I will. as well. Not so thank far. you. Thank you, my darling. Yes, thank and you I'll so much. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Lots of love. Bye.